So, it's been a week since the last time I talked to you. Um, everything's going well. I'll tell you what, as you can tell, the, uh, the vines continue to do fantastic, especially the Concord. Um, the Niagara are starting to peak up now too, so everything's working well. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about fertilizing your grapevines. Now, apparently, there's a, uh, a, big, uh, a big debate whether or not you fertilize a grapevine or not, okay? Um, I've heard it both ways. You don't need to fertilize it, you're risking, you're endangering the vine, blah, 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 blah. Or you need to fertilize it a little bit, or you need to fertilize it a lot. Um, I'm kind of middle of the road here as far as fertilizing your vines are concerned. You don't need to go extravagant, okay? You got this bag of general purpose fertilizer. It's a 10, 10, 10, triple 10, okay? Um, my grandfather swore by it. Uh, and uh, I do too. Um, it's not very harsh. It's, um, but it gives all the uh, necessary nutrients to, to really promote the growth. I did see a guy that used um, tomato plant fertilizer for his grapevines, uh, and it makes sense. I mean, logically, the tomato is a, a bit of a vine-like plant, and these are definitely a vine, so, um, he was using tomato, uh, tomato uh, plant fertilizer, um, Miracle Grow, and uh, he got good results. So I'm not arguing with it. But I use this guy here. You get a what is this? A uh, 40 pound bag for I think it was 15 dollars at Home Depot. And the amount of fertilizer you're going to use on your vines is so minimal that. Uh, this is going to last for me for a while, okay? Because honestly, each vine is only going to get a handful. Just a handful, okay? And you take the handful and you don't go up against the vine, okay? You go about 12 to 15 inches around the perimeter of the vine, okay? Now, you do this one time a month. Uh, pretty much either the last day of the month, the first day of the month, pick a day of the month and then stick to that one time a month. Handful of fertilizer about a foot away from the perimeter of the vine. Uh, you do that for all your vines, gives it that little extra oomph. My results so far have told me that this is, this is a good thing. This is how I want to do things. So I'm going to keep doing it that way. So. I'm going to go fertilize the vines, and I'll be right back to you. All right, guys, so there. Vines have been fertilized. I might have used maybe, I don't know, seven to 10 pounds of fertilizer for the 24 vines up here, okay? Um, one time a month, pick a day, end of the month, beginning of the month, fertilize, handful, 12 to 15 inches around the base of your uh, vines. There you go, so 15 bucks, Maybe, let's say I use 10 pounds, that's four months worth of fertilizer. Honestly, pretty much the growing season for $15 fertilizer. And the results are looking pretty good. So, wear, wear a set of gloves. I don't know, I don't know what's in there. Prefer not to get it on my skin, but I don't know. So, just wear some gloves. Uh, I think these guys were actually my kids for working on cars. So, that's that. Uh, a couple changes that I want to walk you through the vineyard to show you. Um, number one, I gave up on alpha. I dug them up and I bought two new vines. Okay. Um, now this is the end of May. Memorial Day would just happen. Um, June is tomorrow. So 
kind of getting vines was a little bit more difficult than I would hoped. I did go back to Home Depot to see if they had another vine, even though that's where Alpha came from. That's the first vine, and for you guys that don't, have never watched my first videos, um, Alpha was the name I gave my first ever vine. It was uh, $9.99 at Home Depot. It was a Concord seedless. I was so happy, uh, named them, and uh, first first grapevine ever planted in the ground and um, a frost happened and then a freeze happened and he died. He's dead. He's dead. He was a stick. Um, I did transplant him into some potting soil and put him on my deck in, in hopes that maybe, I don't know, maybe he'll come back. We'll see. Because um, I'm, I'm attached to him. <laughs> I'm attached to my vines. But um, but I went looking for vines. I had a hard time finding them. I actually found two vines um, to replace one of the Niagara's as well at Walmart for five bucks uh, per vine. Five bucks per vine. They should be on clearance by now, but they looked healthy and they were both Concord. Uh, they had some Himrod and some Canadice, Canadice uh, vines, but I was looking for Concord specifically because the Concord had done well. And I did buy two Concord, so uh, I, <laughs> I named the one Wally and the other one Marty. I know, I know, I know, I get it, I get it, I'm corny, okay, I get it. Uh, but yeah, I named, <laughs> I named my, my two new vines Wally and Marty. Um, and they'll be able to track their progress and everything. But they're in the ground right now, had them in the ground for four days now. They look good, they look strong. And they look like they're taking well, just fertilized them for the first time. So we'll see what happens. So let's go for a walk around the vines and I'll show you, you know, a one week status update on how things are progressing. Okay, sound good? Okay guys, I'm back, sorry. All right, so I actually ran out of storage on my phone there for a second, so I had to switch over real quick. But anyway, I like I say, and here's this guy. He is quickly catching up to that guy. And it's a race to that top wire, but honestly, it's, couple weeks away from being on that top wire so here is number two Walmart this is Marty so you got Wally and you got Marty Concord looking good looking strong looking healthy in the ground ready to go here's my Niagara's Look at that. I just made some serious trimming to these guys this guy is now going up the up the post Beautiful, beautiful, and beautiful. Look at these Niagara. How beautiful are they? And then back here, more Niagara. Now these are the Burgess Niagara's, but he's coming in now. This guy here, who has been a stick for the longest time, now has this little bud down here. He's growing. There's another Niagara. Weed, go away. Get rid of those weeds. This guy here, he's a stick. He's not doing anything. He's gonna be replaced pretty soon. This one too. This is a cutting that I have in the ground to see if maybe he'll root. But this one here, I got a little bud there. And then this Niagara here, coming in nicely. Nice grow on top right there. So, you good? And then, my wild vines, my wild grapes, look at that. You see that? So the blossoms have now burst and they are about to turn into little grapes. Some of them, not all of them, but these guys, and now I'm letting the tendrils go. See these tendrils? I'm letting them go so that they can grab a hold of each other and build the canopy. But this wild grapevine, he's fun to watch. He is fun to watch. And yes, I know it is a non-traditional trellis system, that's for sure. That's my bag of empty beer cans. Because when you're out here in the vineyard, 
you need to drink some beer. Stay hydrated, right? <laughs> so, all in all, guys, Backyard Vineyard coming along nicely, growing well, loving it. Marty, Wally, in the ground. All right, about a week from now, I'll update you again. Until then, Jay, Heavy Metal Vines, wishing you all the luck, hoping I'm helping you. But until then, guys, rock on.